Hello and welcome to my channel. Most people think that when it comes to goal setting, it's something that we do at the beginning of the year or at the end of the year. The truth of the matter is that every single month, you've got to be reviewing your goals, setting new goals, crossing off old goals, and just removing, moving things around in your life and in your business. So in the snippet that you are about to watch, I'm going to walk you through a few things that you want to be thinking about when it comes to resetting your goals. But first, welcome back to those of you who have, who are subscribers to my channel. And of course, if it's your first time joining, I'm Pamela Bassa and I'm the founder of The Lucrative Lady. And on this channel, I teach you all things about how to have a three-day working week. And we do this by creating recurring income streams and using systems and automation. But I love all things about life and, you know, just living a good life. And so this snippet that you're about to watch is really to help you with your goal setting. So let's dive in. When it comes to setting your goals, I highly recommend setting just a 90 day goal or setting your goals in 90 day increments. So why 90 days? Well, it's simply because 90 days is heck of a lot easier than 365 days. Most people start off the new year really excited about their goals. Most people start off the new year and ready to hit every goal that they have written down. But the truth of the matter is that come February, the majority of people have actually lost track and don't actually know what to focus on any longer. Most people go January, yes, let's do it. But by February, they, they've fallen out because in their mind, they just set up a goal instead of strategically setting a goal. When you're setting goals in smaller chunks, it's easier to track and measure. So even if you're not used to setting goals, or you've never set goals before, or you've never set goals that you have achieved, I highly encourage you to start small, in smaller chunks, achieve that one step before you move to the next. If you're feeling Feeling burnt out and you're probably asking yourself, Pam, listen, it was so bad, it was so poor, nothing good happened for me, why should I even start doing this now? Well, here's, here's the truth, you're still alive, you are still on this planet, that means there is still a purpose for you, so go ahead and start small. I'm not saying set crazy goals that you will never hit, like I want to make a million pounds in my business within the next seven days. Yes, I know that's not impossible, some people can do it for sure, but set a goal that is easy to to achieve for you so that once you do that it gives you the motivation that you need to set even further goals and to meet those step one in setting your 90 day goal is to ask yourself this where would i like to see myself or see my business by the end of the year that is the first question to ask yourself this allows you to paint the bigger picture the vision that you have for your life or your business for that year now let's imagine that you have answered that question that takes you to step two Step two is look at the answer to that question and you're going to think about four steps that will allow you to reach that goal. And then step three then is to assess those four steps that you created in step two and make the first one your first 90 day goal. Can you see how simple that is? Now you have a focus for the next 90 days. Now you know exactly this is the only thing I am focusing on for the next 90 days. It's easy to do. You can measure it. You can achieve it. It's not overwhelming and it serves you towards your big goal. What type of goals should you set for yourself? Well, everybody's goal is going to be different, but I love to have three types of goals. One is a business goal. Next is a happiness goal and a relationships goal. So your business goal could be around your revenue, how much money you want to be bringing in in your business this year. Your happiness goal is to do with your impact and how much joy you want to have, how much balance you want to have in your life so that you can actually enjoy all of the money that you're going to be making, all of that income. And then your relationship goal could do with the relationship with your spouse, with your children, with your parents, your family, your friends, anybody who is important to you, no man or woman is an island. So it's very important that we hold people dear and near to us even closer. So I love to have goals within these three areas because it really helps me to be holistic in the way that I live my life so that as the income is growing, my joy, my happiness is growing and my relationships are even becoming stronger. 
The important thing to make sure is that your 90 day goal is tangible. So you cannot say that, you know, my 90 day goal is to be happy. That's not tangible. How do you even measure that? Do you see my point? If you instead change that to something that leads to that happiness or to that joy, now you're talking. And remember, it's all about progress, not perfection. Nobody's going to be marking this. This is not school, right? It's really up to you. So the more granular you can get with your 90 day goal, the more it will serve you. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to join me in my upcoming masterclass where I'm going to be walking you through how to create recurring revenue streams in your business without launching, without overwhelm and without burnout. The link to that masterclass will be below this video in the description. So I'll see you there. And of course, don't forget to check out my next video. I'll see you there.